when importing bus log data. It is critical to have the CanLin Flex Ray bus log database files associated with the bus log data, as well as the associated bus numbers that were employed during the recording. The physical bus lines are assigned a logical bus number between 0 and 255. A unit under test may have several buses per type, all recorded simultaneously by a data logger. The most efficient way to perform bus log conversion is to collect the raw bus log files to be converted into a single folder, along with the related bus log databases files. Include a rich text file in the folder with information about the relationship between the bus log database files and the bus numbers associated with them. From the Navigator panel, click on the File menu and select Open Bus Log Converter. Choose the file type from the drop-down box. Identify the bus log file to be converted. To specify the bus database configuration, click on the Edit button in the Bus Database Configuration area. Click on the Plus button in the Edit Bus Database Configuration dialog. Click on the plus button in the Add Bus to Configuration dialog and select a bus log database file. Then configure the bus type from the drop-down box and then the bus number. If more than one bus log database file is associated with the same bus type and bus number, then click the plus button again and select any additional bus log database files. When finished, click the Add Bus to Configuration OK button. If another bus number exists, click on the plus button in the Edit Bus Database Configuration dialog and repeat the prior process for the additional bus number. When done, click on the Edit Bus Database Configuration OK button in the dialog. You can perform many advanced options with the bus log converter. What is presented here is what most users will need. At the bottom of the Bus Log Converter dialog, click the Convert button to begin bus log conversion. A new file will be created, and the data will be loaded into the data portal. Inspect the conversion results, and if good, then consider saving the conversion settings by clicking the button Save As in the Settings section. If the bus log conversion result is good, then it would be beneficial to add metadata to the file loaded in the data portal, see the next section, and then save the file as file extension TDMS to a navigator search folder that is indexed by the data finder.